Our sketch pad podcast we back make sure you like share subscribe to the page so today we're going to be reacting to the whatever podcast it's a fascinating uh argument uh between uh andrew wilson and some feminists i think it's pretty dope um yeah so we're gonna watch that we'll be back Alright, yeah, man, we back. Hey, man, if you want us to react to your stuff, cue cards on the screen. If you want to donate, you could donate. You know what I mean? It's on the screen, too. So, look, we're going to get right into it. We ain't going to do too much talking. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, man. Sketchpad. You know what I'm saying? So, look, let's get to it. Let's see what's going on here. Are you going to have a discourse this. like adults or what? You I can't mean, finish talking and okay. when I start talking. I just have to come in and pick one of yeah, you to finish your fine. things. Andrew gets to finish. That's Go ahead, fine. Andrew. Okay. So anyway, uh, your line of logic would still apply to other situations. If women are easily suggestible, they're just young sponges, they're just absorbing the things around them. You say these are two different situations as though I'm talking about them like they're the same situation. The logical entailment, though, would apply in both. That's the point. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I didn't specify women. I said young people, both men and women, when they're in their early 20s, are very suggestible, impressionable. They're sponges. That's what I said. So I wasn't specifically talking about women. We were not talking about the military. And the difference that I was trying to articulate was that if there's a 20-year-old, sorry, a 20-year age gap between myself as an example and a staff sergeant that's in charge of my platoon, his job is to train me, is to educate me, is to lead me, is to build me into being a soldier. That is not the dynamic of the particular male that we're talking about. Toby McGuire's job is not to teach a 20-year-old how to be an adult and a woman and to know her rights and to know her boundaries and her limits and what she likes and doesn't like. That's not Toby's job. That's not a job. staff sergeant's job either to teach you how to be a woman. I, they're two completely different topics. That's your logic. So he gave her a scenario where it's actually the same, but it's just, a, it's an analogy that he gave her is the same. So the analogy was, what about the military? You go into the military because her logic is young people are sponges. They absorb everything and they do everything. You know what I'm saying? Of what someone says or whatever at the time. He's saying that, okay, so a staff sergeant who is 45, 50 years old, why is that different for a female to listen to a staff sergeant? Because he could be telling her some things that's wrong too. So basically what he's saying is you want to say that these, these kids don't have a responsibility to choose on their own but you okay with them going into the military and choosing something that affect their, their life just the same way if they was to choose to be with somebody that's uh, a little bit older. You, know, you get what I'm saying? I know that was a lot. Yeah. That's basically what the argument is. They're going to get into it, though. Your, it's your logical application. Staff starts a job not to teach you how to be a woman either. Okay, when you're talking about a power imbalance, if you're saying that people are so young and impressionable they can't make the decision of who they date based on an age gap, which is absurd, this logic should still apply to the situations that they can engage in, which is contractual. For instance, signing a, oh, I don't know, a four-year contract for your life, right, that you then hand over to the government. If you're incapable of determining who you can or can't date, why in the world would I think that you could determine whether or not you signed your life over to the U.S. government? So, hold on, again, two completely different topics. I did not say a staff sergeant was going to teach me how to be a woman. See, this is what I don't like about women like her. Right. Obviously, it's two different topics, but it's a it's a analogy. It's like apples and oranges are different, but they're still fruit. You know, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, the way what she's trying to say is it's two different, completely different topics. But what he's saying is 
you can't say that a person can't choose or or can't have a, a, a how would I say this? They can't be logically sound to make a right decision when it comes to a, a older person in a relationship. But you're telling telling people that they can be logically sound to make a life decision when it comes to the military. You get what I'm saying? Like, how can you tell right. somebody that they're young, that they can't make this decision over here because they're young, but they can make this decision over here even when they're young. And this decision over here will be 10 times worse or detrimental to you because you can die from this decision. Not to say you can't right. from this one, but basically that's what the argument is. And she keeps trying to say, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. He, he, like uh, he's going to explain, but let's go. A staff sergeant would be teaching me how to be a soldier, just to clarify. That's right. And in terms of the topic of, you know, the them joining the military, et cetera, again, we're not talking about that. We're talking about whether I personally, the question was whether I personally find issue with a 20 year plus age gap. I personally find an issue with it. I don't think it should be illegal. Should the woman be able to decide to do that or a man could be reversed? Absolutely. It's their choice. It's their business. I'm just saying the question was, do I, I have an issue with it? Have an issue and with I'm saying it. I have an and issue with I'm, it. So then here's what I'm doing. What I'm doing, right? And I'm going to use my best HR tone. What I'm doing is I'm taking your applied logic that you apply in this situation and also equally applying it to other situations to see if it's consistent. It's called an analogy, right? So in this analogy, if you have a personal problem with age gap relationships based on the fact that there's power dynamics and that the woman can be super suggestible to this 49 year old who's super powerful and he's, he's all powerful Zah, okay? Then this would still apply to the fact that if she made other contracts or other you know, um, uh, life choices, why is it that she's capable of those you have no problem, but you have a problem in the instance of her picking her partner? Again, these are two completely different scenarios with two You can keep saying that like we don't know that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this is why you could never have conversations with women like this. Could never have conversations with them because Women like this, they take everything literally. They, they take everything literal. Everything is literal to them. Everything. Even if you give them a hypothetical, even if you give them an analogy, it's always literal until it has to be something that supports their argument. Then they can use the hypothetical. But whenever you try to explain it to them in broad day, in as clear as day, he clearly told you, we know what you're saying. I'm asking you, how is it that you can agree with a woman making a life decision when it comes to the military and a decision that will change that affect her life? But when it comes to somebody that she's older uh, being with that's older, you don't you don't want to uh, say, OK, that's that's something that she could uh, make a decision on. It's just crazy. Uh, Listen, we, we Andrew, we, we just disagree. So I think we should move on because we definitely we just disagree, disagree on this. That's the argument. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. I'm not going to. So we disagree. That's my opinion. I don't need no. you to agree with it. I don't need you to find logic in it. That's just my opinion. So I'm ready to move on. Yeah, but I'm not really ready to move on. I'd really you like to keep going. To you can keep I don't going, but you're going to be all by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm not really ready to move on. <laughs> Try to dictate the conversation on their show. Like, no, I'm not ready to move on. You can watch a little more that we're going to end it. Good for you. Yeah, you, you tell that mean guy who wants the logical consistency. No, I love you, me. Andrew. I don't think he's sure. mean. I just think it's two completely different scenarios. It's not even the same thing. Yes, I well, are apples the same as oranges? I'm moving on, Andrew. Are apples the same as oranges? Can you, can you answer any basic questions? Is up the opposite of down? No, just no, nothing. We're just not, we're just not going to answer any questions at all. Which, what we'll do is we'll just take positions that never defend them. I'm not going to do that. I'm That's, not here to debate you, Andrew. We've been through this before. What are you here to do? I'm here for the dating conversation. I'm not here for you. This is a conversation I'm about not here dating. For you. We're talking oh, about specifically. I would have kicked her off the show. I'd be like, now nah, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Like, come on. Come on. I'm here to for the dating show. And this is what this is about. The show is all about dating. 
dating someone who's far older, and I'm testing the logical consistency of your position. But I don't need you. I don't need you to decide whether my logic about whether I think a 20-year age gap is appropriate or not. I didn't. I don't need your approval on that. I didn't say you needed my approval. So then we're having why, a conversation. We're, it's I don't, not I don't a care conversation when you're just like going to, to disrespect. Like I don't. I don't need How that. How is that disrespectful? Andrew, I'm not going to do tone? this with you this Are you going to use the HR thing? Is it the wrong tone? Is it the HR tone? Are you going to give me the HR tone speech? Don't do the HR tone speech. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm not entertaining this, Andrew. I'm not, not today. All right, so I'm going to stop it there. Um, see, here's the issue. Here's the issue. You see how she say, this is why you got to be, y'all have to be really careful with women like her. Because she literally just said, I'm not going to take this disrespect. Now, this man didn't even disrespect her at all. He didn't disrespect her at all. Not one time. That's the type of female that will say you did something to her and you didn't do it to her. And then and then you serve 20 years in prison and you get out of prison. And her thing was, well, he didn't actually touch me. I just felt like he was going to do something to me. That's the type of girl that 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 woman is. Y'all got to be careful with women like that. Because they don't care. You know, what I mean, she only wants to support her narrative. She don't even want to have an open discussion about what he was talking about. The whole thing was. She's saying that a 50 year old man should not be dating a 22 year old woman because that gives her the ick. But in the same breath. All of those women on there, they say that women mature faster than men and they OK mm -hmm. with it. Now, me personally, I don't care if if she is ab above age, she's 19, 18, 19, 20. Hey, because my thing is when a woman is when a woman is uh, 45 and she's dating a 20 year old, they big her up. They make it like it's the greatest thing ever. They got movies about it. Stella got a group back. Most of the movies were women, uh, uh, American Pie, Stifler's Mom. That was the first MILF that everybody wanted to do something with. So I don't have a problem with older men dating younger women because they're above age. If they're like, you know, 17, no, obviously not. But 18, 19, 20, 21. And then her, another one of her logic was another thing she said was she said she OK with them having sex. You OK with the man that you say that is predatorial to have sex with a young woman. You OK with that. But if. That man wants to build a life with her. You don't, you're not okay with that. <laughs> what sense does that make? You know what I'm saying? Like, if he wants to build a life with this woman and help her get to where she needs to be, you're not okay with that. But you okay with him just having sex with her. You just okay with the banging and dump her, right? That's you okay with that. So you basically okay with she if he bangs her. He, and she gets pregnant. You okay with him just being leaving her? What you know? She being a single mother. You okay with that? It's un unbelievable. Has she ever watched porn before? <laughs> a lot of those, a lot of those females on the porn industry, they definitely are between eighteen and nineteen and up, and mm -hmm. they be messing around with these older dudes that be like in their thirties and above. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, that whole logic she trying to spin makes no sense. You know what I mean? Because uh, I was definitely going to say that, you know, if the woman's maturity level is up there, she's capable of dating like a 45 to 50 year old. I mean, we see it all the time. We see it all the time in Hollywood, you know, younger woman dating older men. Regardless if it's a, a a money issue or whatever like that, you know, most of the time people say, oh, it's just for his money or whatever like that. But really, does it matter? It's still a younger woman dating an older guy. 
You know what I'm saying? And and, and another thing, when she's saying that uh, the man could be manipulative, clearly in Hollywood, when you see the younger woman dating an older man, what do they usually say? The woman is there for his money, right? So who's being the manipulative person? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Who, who's really who's being manipulative? If they saying the woman is there for his money, then who's really being the manipulative person? Like, you know what I mean? Like, she didn't make any sense whatsoever. And it just seemed like she she didn't want to hear anything the other gentleman wanted to say. She just just flat out was stuck on her opinion and that's it. And she didn't want to hear nothing else. And that's the problem that I have with women like her as well. Like you never can have an opinion with women like her because they always got to be right. They can never be wrong. They always got to be right. And it irks my nerves so bad. But. Mm. Yeah, she don't. The, the thing know. is, she didn't want to concede that she lost the argument because it, it wasn't even about a winner, a winner or loser in the argument. He basically yeah. used her logic against her and said, look, how can you say one is good, but this one isn't? But they both they both mm-hmm. are similar situations. They're not the same exactly, but they're similar. And one is a little more detrimental than the other. And I would right. argue that the one the military one would probably end up being worse than the relationship one, because you're dealing with one person versus you're dealing with several people in the, in the military. When it comes to your staff sergeant and your whoever else is over you, right? You know what I'm saying. And if and if you if you are like a sponge and you absorb a bunch of stuff, obviously. But I think you know what you know what it really is. Women that are thirty, I would say thirty, thirty two. 35 or let's just say 35 and up or 32 and up 32 and up that are single are going through a crisis where nobody wants them. You know what I'm saying? They'll, or let me t- rephrase that. The men they want don't want them. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of them end up single for 10, 20 years because nobody want them, especially women that been ran through and they got all these bodies. So why would I, why would, why would a man, I want y'all to understand this. Why would a man date a woman who is 35, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, whatever. And he have, let's say 60 bodies, 70, 80 bodies versus a woman who is 22, 23 and only has five bodies. Who you think the man gonna go for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who you think he's gonna wanna date? So older man would love to date a younger woman because number one, she's younger, she's more fertile, she's more sexy, and she keeps his attention. And she will most more likely listen. <laughs> Versus an older woman who been through around the block, who's been with multiple men. No, can't, can't tell him how many niggas been up in her. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't as sexy as she was 10 years ago. She's 20, 35. Yo, she ain't sexy. She was t- at 25. But, but yo, ain't that crazy though? Like, it, it should be the other way around. Like, <laughs> that's nuts, bro. Like, what, what should be the other way if around? If you're old. It, I'm saying it should be the other way around, though. It should be when you're older, you're wiser, so you're more attentive to listen. But <laughs> you know when but the, but it's the thing like, is, it's right? Like a, women uh-huh. mature faster than men, right? They say this yeah. all the time. I don't understand how they say it, but then they try to use it against you. Women mature mm-hmm. faster than men. Us men, we mature slower, but we age like fine wine. Look at you! Look how old you are. Look how old I am. I'm 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 not gonna say how old I am, but I'm just gonna say I'm older. But when I see people that are females, that's my age. Yeah, come on, come on. 
Like, I see a lot of females that are my age. Yeah. You, you can understand why men don't want to date them. Because I could almost guarantee you when they were 20, 25, or even 35, they were much more sexier than what they are today. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, man. I don't know. I got the yarns. I ain't even tired. I just, I'm just yarning a lot. It's because I've been talking so much all day. But, uh, yeah, man. I'm going to end this. All right, man. Sketch pad. You know what it is. Man, you out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.